Hi, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm a junior here in Oakdam at NLCS. I'm just going to start off by telling you, sophomore year was a roller coaster of emotions, and lucky for you, you get to hear all about it today. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in last year, I had just finished my first internship in mechanical engineering, and on the side, had worked every day with some horses down the street from me. It was a very busy couple of months. I had thought this is what the next two summers were going to look like, but little did I know, God had other plans. I vividly remember sitting on Jenny's couch, telling her I didn't know what it was about, but something in my heart felt off coming into sophomore year, or yeah, sophomore year. We definitely tried our hardest to dive into that and dissect it all fall semester. As hard as we tried, and even me trying on my own, I simply could not pinpoint what was wrong. Spring semester started, and some of you may know, that is one of the first hard semesters for Matthews. And I was drowning in homework, and I felt like I had an exam every week. At the time, I was leading B-listers with my roommate Warren, but I was simply just going through the motions. I went to what I needed to and what I already had on my schedule, engage group, huddle, and church on Sundays. I did not make time for anything else that my friends, some that are in this room, may have invited me to. I also pulled away from God, and as I struggled to enjoy my classes and disliked every future job I imagined in mechanical engineering, I never once brought it up to the Lord. It's been easy for me to invite God into every aspect of my life except for school. I always thought I was something I needed to figure out on my own and make my own happiness. By the end of the semester, I was locked in my room studying and was barely even seeing the two people that I live with. I wasn't spending any time with God and was just showing up to those things on my calendar. At the end of the semester, my mom visited and right away she knew something was off. I don't know about y'all, but I personally can't hide anything from my mom. We were having dinner and she just asked the simple question of how classes were going. I hadn't admitted it to anyone at that point and didn't realize I was not in a good place of how I was feeling until my mom asked. I also quickly realized I was not looking forward to what my future would look like as a mechanical engineer. This is going to seem like a very abrupt pause, but I promise it'll all come together at the end. My whole life, I grew up surrounded by animals, and my life goal was to be a vet. I didn't believe that I'd be able to handle some of the less fun aspects of the job, like putting down animals. So somehow I ended up in engineering. If you can figure out how I made that job, please let me know. I'm very curious <laughs> myself. <laughs> that summer, before sophomore year, I was working two very demanding jobs, one in engineering, another where I was closely taking care of a horse that was sick all summer. I would have my eight hour days at work and go straight to the barn where I sometimes wouldn't leave until midnight. It took my whole sophomore year up until this conversation with my mom to realize I enjoyed one of these more than the other. I talked through options with my mom and my advisor and even some professor, professors. Most importantly, I prayed about it and talked through it with God. That was the first time in months outside of plant group and church activities that I had chosen by myself to talk to him let alone the first time I invited God into the space of my education. I felt immediately what I needed to do after talking with him and made the decision to change my major. My mom's one requirement was to stay in engineering because she'd already stayed for two years, which makes sense. Um, so I had planned to switch to biomedical engineering and wanted to add a minor in animal science to actually go to vet school. There were definitely some scary parts that were holding me back. For example, biomedical is still a restricted major here at Tech and there was a chance I wouldn't get in. As I was writing this, a song that we sang last week came into mind, Waymaker. A few of the lyrics go, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. I truly believe he laid this path out for me, and when I fully put my trust in him and stayed faithful, he provided. I got into Biomet this past summer and ended up not being behind in any classes, which was a big worry for me. This semester, I've been given the opportunity to relax and reconnect with God. It's still sometimes difficult to invite him into my school life, but seeing how he moved this past year has made that less daunting. This was not to tell you that you need to change your major or anything like that. <laughs> it's just a reminder that God has a plan, and even if it may not seem like it at the moment, he is there watching over us and will pick us up as we fall. For me, that just happened to be changing my major and future plans once I opened that last part of myself to him. I definitely don't have all this figured out, but I know that's okay because God does. Even as I think about the unknown fear I have about where I'll end up for vet school or even just the insecurity of will I get in, Knowing that I've let God into that part of my life and trusting that he will provide and guide me to wherever I'll end up has brought a comfort like no other. And that feeling I had at the beginning of sophomore year is completely gone now, and I'm just so just excited to see what God has in store for me. My name is Mackenzie, and that's my snapshot.